guys, today I will be showing you how to install third-party applications on your Mac OS Sierra. So as you know, if you go to System Preferences, go to the Security and Privacy, you see only two options here. Allow apps downloaded from App Store and App Store and Identify Developers, which means if you want to install any apps that you have downloaded from the internet, it may allow you to install, but you cannot open it. Let me show you what I just said. Okay. For example, I have this application. So I drag it and drop in the application folder. Okay. Now let's open it. You see, this is what happened. You say Amtrans is damaged and can't be opened. You should move it to the trash. This is what happened. They don't allow you to, Apple does not allow you to install third party application on Mac OS Sierra. If you go to system preferences, security and privacy, again, usually when you try to open a third application, third party application after you install, they may have another option here they say anywhere but you don't see it here so you cannot open it but there is a very simple way that you can uh, install third-party application on the Mac what you have to do is you have to go to terminal and you have to type in some codes it's very simple and quick the code is like this. Okay. So the code is sudo sudo spctl and then dash master uh, dash disable you click enter and now they ask you to type in the password okay now you have to type in the password click enter now start okay to know it's done, you go to System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy. Okay, you can see here, now they have new option, Anywhere. And they already select that for you. Now, let's try to open the application again. Okay. And you see, now they don't say move to trash anymore, they say uh, any trends is an application downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it you click open now it works and this method this code that you just have just type it in in the terminal at the moment it will stay there next time you want to install other applications just install it will not say move to trash again this will fix the, this problem permanently that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please click like and subscribe for more useful video in the future have a great day and see you in the next video